When you start to feel like things are <gasps> slow it down. The question is, how do you deal with the anxiety that comes from waking up and being on a roll and realizing that when you're making things happen, it's easy to look back and realize how much of your life you wasted. And that makes you present to how potentially little time you have left and how much there is to do in the little time that you have. I can so relate to this, so relate to this. The, the few things I wanna say about this is that I don't think that our experience of feeling anxiety about getting it all done before your life is over, getting it all done in the time that you have, I don't think it's unique. I think that that is something that starts to happen when you feel like your life is on a roll and you're not present to misery, but you're actually present to power and joy and all the cool possible things that you could do. Does the anxiety or how do you make the anxiety go away? I don't think you can. I think that that is a very normal thing to feel when you're a big thinker and you become present to the fact that when you put in the work and when you focus, you really are capable of creating just about whatever you want in your life. And that's both empowering and daunting and terrifying as hell. And so you can't get away from that anxiety, but you can respond to the trigger. I often feel what you're talking about when I'm on an airplane. And maybe it's because I really I feel very vulnerable and out of control when I get on a plane and I click the buckle and I realize this puppy could go down. And then I think about, okay, I spent 49 years here. There's so much more I wanted to do. So I can relate to this. So there's two things to this. One is being present to time passing and the fact that we're all gonna die and that your life is a gift. When you get present to that, that's the biggest motivator on the planet. And when you feel one of those moments, what I do is I shrink it down and I try to find something in this moment that I'm incredibly grateful for so that if it were to end, right now, then all would be well. I think about the sunset I'm looking at. I find a picture of my kids and my husband. I think about you know the lives that have been touched by the five second rule. And that gratitude in the moment allows my mind to not go psycho thinking about the big vastness around life and those big topics. So that calms me down immediately. That's number one. Number two, I think a slightly different question than um, it's probably anxiety, but I think it has more to do with momentum and how when you start to get unstuck and you start to see things happening, you'll notice that things feel like they start moving faster. As if you are on a treadmill and somebody has secretly come up and turned it up on you. And there are days where we're moving through our day like this morning was one of them. We're getting ready for this live training and all of a sudden I caught myself almost about ready to hyperventilate because I wasn't present to this. I was present to what happens when we have a thousand people show up and where are we gonna hold? <laughs> you know, you kind of speed it up on yourself. So when that happens, I know that I'm in the future, five, four, three, two, one. I need to be right here and right now. And that when you start having big things happen and when you start feeling unstuck and when things start moving, the momentum, you know, because an object in motion tends to stay in motion, your anxiety will make it roll faster. That will not make you effective. You have to slow it down immediately. Just in the case of getting overwhelmed by the big themes in life, when you start to feel like things are <gasps> going too fast, oh my God, oh my God, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough time. No, yes, you do. Slow it down, okay? You know, I'm always looking for new ways to explain the power of the five second rule and the power of five second decisions. And I read something that Tim Ferriss said that really resonated with me. And he had this one line buried in a podcast somewhere that just jumped out and it's, it's, it's stuck. And what he said is he said something about how there's a gap between the world and the things that trigger you and your response. And your entire life is that gap. When you start to, this is not what he said, he kind of identified this gap and I of course intrinsically was like, well, 
absolutely that's the five second window between instinct or stimulus and your reaction. And when you start to understand that your whole life plays out in this five second gap and that there's a gap that's five seconds long between fear and courage and there's a gap that's five seconds long between self-doubt and confidence, that is your life. And what's super cool about understanding that your whole life is inside this gap is it's so small, everybody, that you have the ability to control it. Life's always going to throw triggers at you. And there will always be all kinds of cool things that inspire you, your wisdom. And you get to choose what happens in that gap. Do you succumb to an excuse or do you push yourself forward? When you start to speak up in business, you'll be shocked at how you start to speak up in your relationships. When you start to make hard phone calls, whether it's in a selling situation, you'll be surprised at how you'll start to close the gap and have hard conversations in your personal life. And so that gap is everywhere and it's the same everywhere. And when you start to go to work in controlling how you live in that gap between stimulus or idea and your response, that's where the magic is. And that's what you're experiencing.